Hello, my old school soul food uh, YouTube subscribers. Chef Jeffrey back with another video here. And today I'm going to be doing something I haven't did in a few years, a couple of years. I'm going to be doing old school hummingbird cake. Hummingbird cake is like a Caribbean type. I think in the Caribbeans or somewhere like that it was created. It has a lot of components in it. I guess that's why I don't make this cake a lot. Because there's a lot of components in it. But it's really simple to make. It's just a lot of prep time getting all the components in it. I got all the ingredients here. The recipe is on the description of the video. So if I don't tell you exactly how much I'm putting in it, it's on the description in the video. Like I say, this recipe is very simple. Let's get started here. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix all my wet ingredients together. I got bananas in here, I got pineapples, I got salad oil, vegetable oil, I got uh, vanilla, eggs. This is all the wet ingredients. I'm gonna mix them all up here very carefully. Like I say, this is so, this recipe is so simple. It's just a lot of, a lot of components working here. And the banana, make sure you use an old banana because it's a lot sweeter. Don't use a, uh, making a mess here. Don't use a real green or, or firm banana because you want the sweetness of the banana. Some uh, hummingbird cake doesn't even call for bananas, I've noticed, but I always put bananas in mine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix this up really good. All the wet, set this to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna dump all my dry in here. I got my flour here with my baking powder. Baking soda, I'm sorry. Baking soda, got my spices, nutmeg, cinnamon. Allspice sugar, two types of sugar there, and pecans. And I'm gonna leave a little pecans to put on the top of the icing. I'll mix this all up really good. See how easy this is? So simple, easy. Set up in there. I don't even have to use my mixer for this. If you don't like pecan, you like walnuts, you like cashews, you can always play around with it, with the recipe. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do now, got this real mixed together here. Now, I'm gonna add my wet that I just did to dry. That's it. Look how easy that is. I don't even need a mixer. Can you bleed that? No mixer required. Set up in there. All oh, incorporated in there. Should mix really good. See that? See how well that come together? So quick. Look at that. All incorporated in there together. Look at that. Okay, now I got three pans. It's gonna be a triple layer cake. We got three pans here. Eight inch pan, nine inch pans. And I'm gonna divide this into the pans. That one. That one there. Always put the little one in the middle, as you'll see when I put this up there. Just spray it around the pan, spray it around there, really good. Around. And always, I mean, if they ain't evenly in there, that's fine. I'm gonna show you how I do mine when they come out. How I ice them. Okay, that's it. Now, I'm gonna put this in the oven, see how quick that was? Oven 350 degrees, about 25, 30 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna clean up here a little. 
And I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna make the icing for this. So the icing will be ready when the cake's cool. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, we're gonna make the frosting, icing, however you call it for this here. Got my, I got, you know, I'll use regular cream cheese icing. Just like what you use for, on your, um, carrot cake. Uh, what did you use cream cheese icing for? Mostly for carrot cake. Are you gonna get this going? Very simple. Together. We got butter here, some salted butter. Put that in there. The key is the cream of butter, sugar, and butter, and uh, cream cheese together. Really good. I like a lot of frosting, so this recipe is it, it, it's gonna give you a lot of frosting. Good old cream cheese icing. Okay, now I'm gonna add my uh, powdered sugar to this. milk in here and my vanilla I got in here mixed together. I got the milk and vanilla already mixed together. Okay. Scrape this down again. Make sure all the powder sugar get in there. About this stuff can get really messy on you if you don't watch it. I like cream cheese icing. I can eat this stuff right off the spoon. I'm gonna let it go where I can get it really, really fluffy. cheese icing. I'll take this out. See that? Nice and spool. I'm going to put it in the bowl here. And uh, the cake is still cooking. I'm going to, when the cake's ready, I'm going to show you when I take it out. I'm going to let it cool about 30, 40 minutes. And then we're going to put the icing on here. Like I say, it's a lot of icing, it seems like. But when I make a cake, I need to make sure I have a lot of frosting on there. See that? So easy. Cream cheese icing. Can't go wrong with this. All right, that's it. So I'll be right back when the cake is ready. And I'll show you when it come out the oven. Then we're going to cool it. Then we'll frost it. We'll have us some old school hummingbird cake. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back here. The cake should be ready. Yes, sir. Look at that. Nice spring to the touch there. One more in here, back in the back here. That's the little small one. That's the one I'm gonna put in the middle of the, of the layers. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let these sit here on the side of my stove here and cool off. About, 
25 minutes to an hour because I want them completely cool. Look at that. Nice. Completely cool when I ice them. So, you know, they're cream cheese, so they were not melting or nothing. So, anyway, I'll be back in about an hour. Like I say, we got the cream cheese icing here that I made earlier. And we're going to put a little chopped pecan. You remember these chopped pecans? I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these, too, when we come back. So, anyway, fit tight. We'll be back in about an hour. We'll ice this together, cut a slice, and see how it come out. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. The cake is cool. As y'all know, I got three different, three, uh, it's gonna be a three layer cake here. And I always put the smallest one on the bottom, and the biggest one on the top. So flip it out the pan here. Put it upside down. Bottom layer right here. Put some icing on here. Always start in the middle. Like I already told y'all, I like a lot of icing on my cake here. Like I said, there's no science to this. Just spread the icing on there. What I should have done, which is too late now, I should have put a little icing on the bottom just to kind of steady this cake, but it'll be all right. How much, how much frosting I'm putting on there? A lot of it on there. A bit more. Okay. Now those chopped pecans that I saved, I'm going to put a little on here in the middle of these. Look at that. Okay. I got the other one that's going in the middle. Go around the edge of this just a second here. I'm gonna stick on it. That's very unusual. These pans usually never stick. Okay. Put that one on there like that. And they're kind of, kind of stuck on me. Put that right on there. That's the corner right there. Ain't gonna hurt it. Okay. Some more frosting on here. There we go. Go around the edges of this. There we go. And this cake is very, it's like semi-dense because it has all that pineapple and brown sugar. And all that in there, but it's also going to be very moist because of the fact that it has all those two types of sugar in there. No butter in it. Okay. A little bit more. There we go. Now, I'm going to put some more chopped pecans in here. In the middle. Okay. Final piece here. Let's go around the edges of this. Get this stuff to come out here. There we go. I'm gonna put this right on top. There we go. Now, I'm gonna put the final icing on top here. Want that look good so far? Y'all with me here? with me here on this cake and don't worry we're gonna go around the edges we're gonna pretty up the edges here in a second once we get all this on the top on there and we're gonna go around the edges with this so, yeah it's a lot of frosting on there you gotta I mean y'all don't like a cake that don't have a lot of frosting it's like come on now I have put some frosting on that cake more here and we're going to pretty this thing up. We're going to go all the way around the edges with this frosting. Okay, now, that's what we're going to do. See that? All that frosting is coming around the edge. Now we're going to go around the edge with this. Hope I ain't boring y'all with this. Sitting here me watching me frost the cake. Hmm. Up on the 
side just like that. Like I said, there's no science in this. You actually don't have to go around the edges if you don't want to. So the cake with the frosting, you can leave the edges just open like that. But I like to do mine like this. The rest of this out of here. piece that fell off there. I'm going to hide that. There we go now. We got all the edges down. Now we're going to finish up the top here. There we go. All that good ice. Let's go all the way around with it. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to put these extra pecans that I have, not the little icing right there, that I have left over. We're going to smooth this off. It should look nice and pretty. There's no science to this stuff here. Now, I'm going to put the sprinkle of pecans on top there. Look at that. Can't go wrong with that. There we go. Now, I'm going to be right back in a second. We're going to slice this up. And we're going to see how it looks when we slice it up. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. We're going to cut a piece of this up and see how it come out here. All right. There we go. Triple layer, too. Like I said, this cake is very, very rich. A big slice of it though. It's just gonna come together. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Get layers in there. That's beautiful. That's how they're supposed to look. Nice layers there. Let's try a piece of this. Mm hmm. See how moist it's not crumbly, very moist. Mm, mm, mm. Got the pecans in there, the pineapple, the richness of the brown sugar, and that's why I like a lot of icing in my cake. See that? You can see the three layers there. But anyway, go check out this recipe. Uh, please try this. You like can say the cake is pretty much easy. There's just a lot of ingredients in there. You got the pineapple and brown sugar, white sugar, pecans. But anyway, very good, rich cake. So please give this recipe thumbs up, please share, please comment, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day.